Guys, welcome back. I think it's time I gotta get rid of Streamlabs desktop. This thing keeps exploding on me. My PC should be more than capable. So if you guys got any tips on how to fix any of these shenanigans, please let me know. Otherwise, welcome in, you guys. Sorry for that. Um, take two indeed. This didn't save all the way, um, but that's okay. What's weird is like, it's not like I was, you know, in a very intense, like I didn't have like a lot of, you know, stuff open or, so I'm really not sure. Second pass indeed, welcome back, welcome back. I may have missed, Brody Jones, <laughs> damn it. We back indeed, we back indeed. I apologize gang, let's jump right back into the art. I apologize again. I think it's time I leave Streamlabs and take my talents to South Beach because this is getting ridiculous. Hello, Rosa. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you, Hiku, Rec, Alex, and Draco. I gotta say, the fact that even when I come back, that I can't, um, you know, even resume the previous session is also very frustrating. So I might have to really, yeah, yeah. I'm really not sure why it's like this. Um, so again, if you guys know anything, let me know. Or if there's any program that you guys really like. Um, I'm going to do... Yeah, because I'm seeing a lot of owl bears and they're usually like... You could go either or, right? Like you can have them standing up, you can have them seated. Um, Brody Jones should be the rival to do the starters. I'm not doing starters for my region, not like in a traditional sense anyway. Um, let's see. Let's just try and draw. I don't like how you can't read the stream comments, Money, because I can't watch history. Why can't you watch the history? It should star Brody Jones. That'd be really funny. I mean, if I wonder if I could make that work. I kind of want him to have like a feather collar like this maybe like he could be either a druid or a barbarian so i really wouldn't you know what gang tell me what you think about this i really don't i'm not against the idea at all um if thank you thank you thank you welcome in trash what about make the owlbear unexpressive to make you don't know what's going to do to you no i would say the rules of character design we want the expression in the face Druid Barbarian, potentially. Um, it could be fun to just add elements of archetypes within, um, you know. Okay, let me see if I could do something like this instead. Maybe it's like these really massive claws, you see? Like owl talons. That looks kind of terrifying. Fairly common multi-class, so... Yeah, so like to me, it could be that my finale forms... And you know what? After I keep saying finale forms over and over, I gotta say... Um, unique... I'm gonna type unique owls. I really feel like I could really do some cool stuff... Um, with... The finale forms right like if it's untapped potential i could really really set it up so that you know i really push the envelope right it's that true burst of energy that like lets them break their genetic programming right
Let's see if we can make this guy look cool. You could also take Pokemon from the D&D series for Potempo. The ones I made, you mean? I'm in Universal Studios Japan. Wow, you're in Japan right now? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Have a wonderful time. Take care from America. Have a wonderful birthday. Enjoy yourself. Chat, let's hear let's hear some happy birthdays for Pastel and check him in. Enjoy. Have an amazing time. How cool. Another April baby. We did chat about that in Discord. You know what? Maybe I can do with the legs. It could be like owl legs more than the kind of legs that I see that typical owl bears have, which is more like a bear naturally. You know? You know what, maybe his his thing could come in like a full Yeah, maybe he could be also lunar coded. Um for my DD. I mean, like I could see myself, you know. Pulling some cool stuff uh, as far as concepts for sure. Um, I do get worried that people think that I'm like reusing even my fake mons, which I have complete ownership over, of course. But yeah, I'm probably worrying about things that doesn't really matter. I, I'm As long as I'm doing what I think is going to make the best designs and stuff, that's the most important thing, right? Do you have any joke tempos? Our bear is looking badass. Good, good, good. I don't have any jokey ones, I don't think. And to be honest, I'm not sure what I could even make as far as a joke. You know? Like, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure. Chat, what do you think? Are there what kind of jokes could I do? I kind of want to give him like like empty eyes. And I'll have this part kind of like crested up a little bit. So it's not like flush with the body, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm really not sure what I, I would do for... Um, for a joke, you know? How do I make this happen? Could be a totem pole of instruments to go real literal a totem pole of instruments like owl jokes no i don't know a girthy potempo an all-purpose hold potempo god damn it a big chingling guys i was like wondering if i could maybe add my repolar design and i think i can kind of bring him in as a mothman equivalent what do you guys think should i do that like a mothman retread because i really love how it came out you know it's like joke bond like magikarp although magikarp does have a cool payoff you know how do i get the rest of this body going hmm let me flip real quick Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like the way his neck is like hunched down this way.
Oh, you know what? Yeah, if I bring his chest down like this, like almost like a linebacker kind of thing. All of your fake mods have the best designs? Hey, I appreciate that. Sorry I'm late. Not a worry, Justin. Welcome in, welcome in. Repolars, one of the Potempo would be so epic. Big Chiling Potempo, please. Yeah, you know what? I think... Can someone... Also, I want to do a spider one, and I've written down here. What kind of either archetypes or... Um, mythical kind of entities can I connect to a bee? Because I have a cute larvae one and like my bee version of, and then starfish. If there's anything, I guess like the trope of alien. I mean, star me and star you is pretty alien too. And bizarro, is it bizarro? No, starro is also like an alien starfish. So it's not, I think e even in other kaiju stuff, there's some starfish stuff. So the Albies from Owl House, I don't know what that is actually. So someone tell me if there is a. A thing for bees and for starfish because I'd love to make them work you know So if you bring a fake bond to Potempo, which one you choose? A lot. As long as I can, you know, restructure the like original and more and more pulled away from their original form, you know? Um, especially the ones that I made based on like Paradox um, or ones based off of different franchises like my Ben 10 mods or my Zelda mods. Busy Bees always tooling away, Queen Bees, Spelling Bees. Uh, not a lot of powerful bees in mythology, according to Wikipedia. That's a shame. I want to make a bee work. Now, again, even if there isn't necessarily a bee, you know, I wonder if I could maybe make his wings look like this. Like they act almost like... This could look really cool. And then like... Yeah, it could act like a cape for him. And he's still got his like massive, it's almost like pauldrons for him. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty cool. And you know what? He can have the bear paws up front. How about we do that? Oh, that looks sick. Because there's something like raptor-like about it, but it's... Or ugh, does it lose the bear quality, actually, if I do that? I mean, I think it's still... You know what, so what I'll do is I'll make the bear feet. Getting eclipse energy here. Hear me out, sun bear, moon owl, eclipse owl bear. Love that. Carpenter bees, but that's like more Pokemon, right? Like getting just taking a beak and like making something out of it, which isn't a bad thing. But if there's maybe say a mythical entity or a concept that relate to bees, right? Maybe if it's like a bunch of smaller things that drone together and create something, and I could replace whatever that is with the bee because they drone, you know? That's I think the kind of thing I'm looking for. Bare feet. Exactly right, Aurorus. Welcome in. My mythology, Amuzan Cobb is one of the Maya gods of bees and honey. Mostly beekeeping. Thinking a swarm queen is a good idea for a high level bee. Um, hey, I like that body. She looks like a bear now at the same time. Exactly what I'm going for. Um, Blue, welcome in. Is it a Pokemon or an Autoral? Autoral? Monster Tamer? 
Um, no Pokemon. It's something called Potemple, my own original thing. Hello, Aurorus. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, I'm looking at their references, trying to get these feet down. They have, like, really simple shapes. You know what? So what I can do is maybe... To get that owl bear feel, I can still put like give him strong back, still give him like say owl tail feathers, and then have the bear feet like right here. Yeah, bear shapes are kind of simple and flat to be honest with you. Again, I don't know if I'm going to go for the wing kind of thing, but like, it's pretty cool. Right? What do we think, chat? Looks cool. If it doesn't feel barren like enough, it's not the worst thing in the world. Because, you know, I'm just using these as inspiration. So if they end up becoming more original, hell, that's even better to me, right? Oh, shit. I'm not, I'm not drawing on frame. Tell me when I'm not, chat. I'm sorry. I mean, this looks pretty damn sick. It does look like an owl. It does look like a bear. It looks like, you know, something new and interesting. Kind of want his collar. And then, for example, if this maybe potentially feels like it's too, too much like a sphinx or something, right? Then I'll just move this body shape over to the sphinx and then try again for an owl bear. You know what I mean? I think you got to do like the owl, like the typical, like, uh, I kind of miss its owl talons. Me too. Uh, what you got so far with the other forms? We have an owl and a teddy bear as of right now. It's not a teddy bear, but like, it's, it's pretty simple. I was thinking and worrying about, um, how to design these creatures maybe in the future it's designing the first stage form and going backwards um i think you guys would probably be down to see me work on um designs like bear cub yep bonnie may make one of the potempo nomad yeah go for it uh none of them are really finished so you know they will definitely definitely um get um what's the word altered you know um but yeah if, if you want to do it for practice or something go for it um looks like mount by someone powerful early on if it had a show half miscode half b cryptid that loves sugar is a good basis uh this guy pov make you an offer give me your pastrami sandwich um yeah, I mean, honestly, this feels like a fun balance of, like, the bear is this side, and then the owl is the top side. So, seems pretty cool to me. I'm going to try um, adding some color and just see where the designs and stuff go. It may be stronger to just do a series like wings like that you know what let me yeah we gotta definitely give like bird feathers in the back I like this I think this is kind of nice could be that like the owl part kind of like really comes up from the the coolest professor alive thank you so much <laughs> thank you for saying that I want to see if I can combine more stuff. Like, I can add, like, the markings here, you know, for just texture.
Let me see if I need to maybe extend the neck a little bit. Yeah, that feels right. Okay, strong here. I guess, you know what, to really make it feel like a bear though, you gotta get that. Uh, it's Albert epic and strong. He's thick team Albert. Hell yeah Feels like we can get at least three inches off the ground because he's too heavy to fight definitely can't well Just look back and the design change immensely looking absolutely wild um, Yeah, I'm trying to get the more bare side of things um, I do like the other one with the kind of almost like sphinx like kind of wings, but I feel like That doesn't make it an owl bear. You know what I mean? Um, let me look up a sphinx real quick. I was also thinking, guys, you know, for boost evo and stuff. Um, yeah, that adding those kind of wings would certainly make it feel more like a sphinx, um, or like a hippogriff or something. So let's keep it simple. Um, baby Minecraft mod, big and friendly in shape. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start putting colors down. All right, I'm gonna flip. All right, so here we have our bear. And again, down the line when I do second passes for all these guys, if if I feel like the through line isn't strong enough, I will absolutely find it and make it happen. You know? So, you know, I'm really glad I was able to find, like, again, what feels like the in-between of Pokemon and Digimon. You know, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, again, I think my only kind of problems with some of these designs, it's like, it's just going to look like a normal type cute baby bear. Nothing wrong with it, but... There could definitely be better, stronger angles, you know? Maybe you could have that owl mask that chat mentioned. We'll see. Um... Gets swipe right on his Tinder profile. All right, shout out to you, Albert. Bear. Do you think the bear part is noticeable? We'll see. We've got to add some colors and whatnot. What are you basing your potempos on? I would say most of the potempos, if not all of them, are like nothing like high grade concepts. It's like world mythology and my takes on character design, like first and foremost, right? Um, now, if I wanted to do something like Pokemon, I think I could, like trying to find puns and merge types with animals. But that's, yeah, just so inherently Pokemon. And I want to see if I can really stand out on my own, right? That's why I chose not to do a region, right? And I just feel like my Dex Neo and my Fake Mon stuff have all been... Um, leading up to here basically you know this is on top to foreshadow the crust so you're thinking like pokemon right foreshadowing the next step i'm not against that as i've said but i want my creatures to feel like like a digimon thing where it's like why did it evolve into that but then when you get to the final form you're like oh it is the sum of all of its parts you know
I mean, down the line, it may, I may be able to do something like feathers on the crest, and I, I deem it necessary to make. And you know, maybe like a, a year from now, or however long it takes for me to like finalize my designs and write all this stuff and figure out all this, you know, whatever kind of thing. Um. Oh, you know what? It could be cool to put the feathers there. Um, the Ningen. Tell me about the Ningen. Just want to hug this little bear. So, Monty, after the owlbear, you're going to do the stereotypical RPG enemies like bats and mimics? I would definitely love to. Um, I don't know if I'll do mimic. I keep thinking about it. And I feel like it's a must. And it doesn't have to necessarily be a mimic like a Voltorb where, you know, in my world, lanterns are what keeps the creatures, the Potempos. It could still be a cool treasure chest. And I do plan on incorporating one into um, one of the dragons. I think chat knows about which character that's going to be. Or do you want to make up a temple? You know, I didn't even consider that. I might have to. Gang, who could Toasty be? Welcome back. Welcome back, Mast. Uh, can we make a Hippocampus? I might make a hippocampus one. I was looking it up. It's kind of similar to, I think, the Kelpie. So I don't know if I will. Um, we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's start coloring this bear. With the bear, it's not like there's a lot you can do. I wonder if it's also, you know... Um, something like fantastical and go with like crazy colors or I want the face to be bright I know that much you know I also think I want to have like a really thick neck as well something like that Tosi would be an um, awakened spell book. That is true. I don't have object mods in my world. There are potential certain object mods I could see work, like a construct, but that was created to house Potempo like spirit. But a spell book coming to life isn't my favorite thing, but it could be a one off spirit. You know, it could be a one off spirit, and that there isn't. One off? Question mark. Maybe. I think that might be the thing. What is the next tempo going to be? I will find out tomorrow. I usually decide on the day of, like, whatever my mood is. Like, obviously, I knew this week I wanted to do a few, right? A few different kinds. Um, but, uh, yeah, honestly, I could see myself... I've been dying to do a few things. Would you guys be averse to me? I know you guys are going to say yes, but I don't know if I'd want to. But I kind of want to design the box legendaries on stream. Now, if this ever became a game, I'm not doing a thing where there's two versions. I think that's pointless. It's kind of a grift at this point but it's you know pokemon tradition i'm not like trying to talk bad about it but like to me it's not something i'm not trying to have you guys double dip i would still pay homage right and do um you know something like i guess hmm how do you word it? I like the duality element for the box arts, right? So if you guys got ideas of what I could do for the mythicals, not so much for ideas of the design. I know the direction I want to go, which is why I'm trying to figuring out my god potempo. Um, but mm, 
You know, part of me wonders if I do something like this, and then that way, I could still kind of get like owl talons, you know? But if you're a bear, running on those kind of things would really hurt, actually. I think I got an idea. Because I want to see how I can incorporate more color, right? Um, it's more modern kind of urban legend from Japan that's said to live in Antarctic waters. Seems seemingly large beluga-like humanoid whale with long human arm living deep in the sea? Holy crap. It'd be cool if we did like goblins, what they called coblins, with their like regular goblins that look like corn. That sounds like a fakemon idea you should do. Um, Toasty would be an awakened spellbook. Uh, Toasty could be a torch. Oh, Toasty Torch. Dude, that's perfect. Flashlight Frog Potempo? No, that sounds like a Pokemon. Toasty a Magic Orb? He could be a Magic Orb. Um, Box of Legendaries, yes. Lantern Mimic Potempo? That's true, too. He could be a Lantern Mimic. I still have to figure out what they're going to look like. Toasty is a p Scroll? Yep, Scroll. Owl Talons, it's been a plain sight this whole time. Obviously, the Boxer Legend is based on the totem pole. Uh, it's not that. Um, but uh, that might be kind of where the where like the hierarchy kind of thing is where it's in my mind. Um, but uh, now it looks like a griffin. Yeah, I'm, I have to be careful. I have to really be careful because I, I need to preserve the bare parts of the design, right? Um, I agree, Toon. I, I would I would probably do that, and again, I could see myself doing, like, a regional variant type of thing, you know what I mean? Where, um, if it lives in, yeah, the Arctic, and maybe it's more like a polar bear, and then an Arctic owl, right? I think that would be really, really, really cool. Um... I'm going to yeah zoom in and just start trying to do some fine details here. Um, again, maybe this kind of eye wouldn't work because it depends on the art style I go for. Maybe it's going to have to be more cutesy kind of eyes potentially, right? Depending on. It's funny because seeing this guy roar, it's like, how do you push the expression? You know? It's really hard to do. Um, you know what? Maybe I could even give it like bear ears. Electric Sasquatch? No, that's yet another Pokemon kind of thing. That's, a, that's basically uh electabuzz guys I, like my designs aren't going to be like again i think my the, the thing that's easiest to say is like type animal or um what's another one? Oh yeah soccer rabbit for cinderace right i ideally i don't want to do that i'm not saying i couldn't like, if there's something that's so perfect, um, then, yeah, I could see myself trying to make that work, you know? But for the time being, um, I have a specific direction, and, like, the puzzle piece is like this, um, where we have a creature... And its finale form is the sum of all of its parts. I want you guys to commit that to memory. People come in and be like, what's Potempo? Like, what do the evolutions look like or how do they work? You guys, well, they're the sum of all their parts. Their final form is all the puzzle pieces which don't look like they fit together and then they actually fit together. You know what I mean? Uh, Shock Quatch? That's a Ben 10 Omniverse thing. Don't we already have a Sasquatch in a way? AKA Bing Chiling. Not joking. No, uh, my, my repolar concept will be repurposed to be a Mothman. So there is still a 
Bigfoot kind of thing. So whether or not I make like a Bigfoot Kong type of thing or a Bigfoot um a Bigfoot kind of Kong thing could be really cool. Um like my take on a giant ape. Conversely, giant Godzilla. Although I think giant Godzilla is specific because it's got the radioactive energy, right? Um Maybe I'll make the beak like black to make it look like a nose, you know? Introduce here, but some people call it an OV alien due to it showing up. Why would he do that to his crotch mask? What do you mean? You guys are peak knowing the franchise. It was introduced in Generix Ready Rex. Not talking about Repo, talking about the guesstimate design before knowing about. Oh, oh yeah, that guy. Oh yeah, that I could make the Yeti. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if, if it would remain as silly as that, but like, that is true. That one does feel like a Pokemon. So if it doesn't work out, I'll just turn him into a Pokemon, you know? Again, I, I don't ever want to promise anything outright, but it feels like if I were to do a, a Godzilla, excuse me a king kong homage it'd be kind of whack of me to not at least try and do something for godzilla although see at least with king kong right i could just make another massive monkey right like rajang right super saiyan monkey but what would i do for godzilla don't get me wrong, I would love to make it work. Because then I could have them and freaking my do. You know what I might do tomorrow, gang? I might do my Dune homage. I might do my Sandworm tomorrow. Because I want to make one of my first... Um, not... Uh, my first lithic design. If not lithic... I could have it start as a typic and then end up lithic, you know? And it's like maybe made of sand or rock like my own onyx right like it'll be cool um uh if we bring some of your fake mom why not the sumo beetle the sumo beetle i'm bringing to another thing which is called henshine that's going to be a while before i get to that and then when it comes to um when it comes to who's the other guy The clownfish. The clownfish is too cartoony. That will always live as a Pokemon. I don't think I could make it work as a Potempo. Like, Potempo is too man-made. Who knows? Maybe in 10 years and, you know, Potempo is huge or something and there's like multiple regions and games. You know, and I'm like, I'm running out of ideas. You know, bring out the clowns. Who knows? Who knows, maybe by the end of this year, after as I'm continually designing and stuff, I change my mind, right? Who's exactly to say? What if I added... I'm trying to see... Oh, you know what? Maybe I can just do a back claw kind of like this and still give him his massive polar bear... you know that could be cool and what i'll do is just to add some pop it'll be like a yellow kind of color i think um <laughs> lizard with ice powers that stand on four legs uh, I would say they're not good. Dipotem and Compton are mythic, hands down, period. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, we'll see. The fish be a depressed jester if we can give them clothes like texture, but that's again, like, feels like Pokemon. Dune Shadow Worms or Sandworm would be epic. Depending on which Omnitrix user dimension you're in the aliens, you get a different color palette. Down for a lithic. Yeah, I think I'll work on the, uh, the Dune inspired Sandworm. That just seems like a really fun one for me. Um, 
Hello, Oni. Welcome in. Welcome in. All right. So how do I make these? How do I make this work? I like the pop the yellow gives. I don't like the face right now. Um, yeah, no worry, no rush. But Tempo ever release a magic pop there being similar to Kasepis or Katomon. I hope not Katomon. No disrespect, I've just never heard of Katomon. Yeah, honestly, I don't want to talk about any kind of success or anything. Like, I'm just going to put out my best work and that's it, you know? Of course, I would love to have any kind of success, and I'll be grateful for whatever I can get, you know? But it's kind of scary to think about. Um, so there's a lot of orange. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do like kind of like this brown color I feel like could be really cool. I'm going to bring that... Yeah, adding color breaks and stuff is the play for sure. And then, yeah, once I, again, eventually figure out exactly how I want... Um, you know, the art style to be... I think I've kind of got an idea of how I'm making it, to be honest. Like, it's definitely um gonna be how i render a lot of my fake mon currently you know so looking at the way the owl patterns look this looks kind of cool right and then they've got their tails like this. The inside of their, so maybe it could look something like that. And then as for the wings, I will give them a lot of flair just so I can. All right, this is kind of working for me. I'll see, you know, I think the way I do the wings will really, you know, evolve over time. Kind of want to do something like that. And then bam, bam, bam. So that gives you. All right, I mean, this guy, actually, I've really grown to like this guy. That's where I did my Spanish lessons, Albert. Yeah, he's coming for you. Love it, such a chunky boy. I wonder how the sandworm line would work. Like I was saying, it's going to be the sum of all of its parts. So I don't know if I'm going to make it like rock segmented, kind of like an onyx. Um, I'm definitely using my Doug Trio concept, which I'll you know show you guys tomorrow. Um... Might be weird, but the Alpha Legend of Zelda might make for a good reference. I don't think it's weird at all. I love that design. Um, I love Alice so much. I have a design from my own guy as an Alan Snake duo. Nice. I love Alice. They're just so cool. All right. So this looks pretty good to me, gang. I like the yellow claws. I think that adds a lot of pop to the design. Um... There's going to need to be, I think, some patterning, I think, down this way, maybe. 
Maybe it could even be like slash marks or something. Um, maybe there's like another set of like feathers that come down this way. Um, but yeah, his arms look pretty powerful to me. I guess actually they would need to come up all the way up here, right? There's massive forearms. What do we think, chat? Do you guys like this guy? He's chonky, but I think in a in a really fun way. Yeah, he looks pretty great. First a solid first pass, I would say. Now, again, 100%, I'm going to need to figure out things like down the line, how I'm doing eyes. Is it like more cartoony, more realistic? Once I figure out the, again, the direction, it will really really evolve the look and feel of all my creatures because as of right now um oh that's what i can do so i can do brown here just like the same the same pattern for here No, you know what? I'll have it rounded like Rory. That looks pretty good. And then for here, I'm going to have light here, and then I can also add kind of... Oh, you guys can't see that. Oh, shit. How did that happen? I'm wondering how I make this guy look even more intense, you know? Okay. Shivani, I have a question. You said you don't want to have ideas like element and animal, though I worry that makes runic unneeded since... Yeah. Um, and if, ruin, if runic is unneeded, then out it goes, you know? Like I said, I never wanted to be married to anything in particular. Um, but um, as far as in the context of what I mean by that, if if someone were to tell me like, Bonnie, do a buffalo um, with its horns on fire. And I'm like, oh, why? What is that lore based on? And they're like, oh, nothing. That would just be really cool. That's, for me, crossing into Pokemon ter territory. So I'd be less inclined to go that direction. However, if there is a mythological entity, because as, you know, cryptids and stuff is a huge part of the intro for this world, right, of designs. And they're like, there's a bull and, you know, it was set on fire and now it's a raging fiery bull spirit. Fire plus bull makes sense. So in that case, that would be a runic creature. You know what I mean? Wow, else? So changing the size of the head really makes a big difference. So it's not that those concepts couldn't exist in my game, but if if the inspiration is nothing more than, um, you know, random type with random creature, right? Not that Pokemon makes it random. They usually have a reason, right? Even my, um, my, uh, Aklut-inspired Potempo 
he's got ice pieces because I see them living amongst glaciers and things like that, you know? So to me, it makes sense. Oh God, this guy, if I use the same colors, is straight up gonna look like Knockdown, huh? So we'll have to make it different. You no, know he could be a teenager, so. But yeah, like I said before, I am not against, that's the whole point of design, you know? Um, to believe that everything will stay the same from conception, you know, that's not how anything like this in the creative field works. Potempo might change tomorrow, the name, right? I might wake up a year from now and I'm like, Potempo is not the name. It's got to be Totempo or whatever it is, right? The moment that anyone gets too married to any one thing, that's why I didn't want to give too much thought to like domains or types very early on. I decided to do it. It's an important conversation for me to have if like the classes are going to define, you know, certain elements. But to this day, I don't really know entirely what um, my domains do right now, right? Because I don't have a a world yet that the creatures they're not fighting in this world yet or battling with their peers and stuff right so i haven't really thought about too much of their battle prowess if i am gonna go with a system where it's an archetype system where i'm like oh i need um i need the creatures to be um thick boys right and they need to be big time defenders so they're really tanky and let's say i make the owl bear tanky and i'm like oh, he's not tanky enough i gotta go even bigger right so there's so much i can still change um and if changing types is a necessary thing or domains i should say and i find like oh there's no use for um you know, if there's no use for runic or caustic or this or that, no problem. I, you know, you can never be married to anything, especially so early, right? I've been talking about Potempo for so long, and it is such a dream to be able to work on it, you know? I know you guys are going to support me. That's what's exciting for me. Um, it, it feels like forever when i first announced like yeah i kind of want to do this thing you know and now here i am doing it so talking about it is one thing now that i'm doing it now that i have an idea of what my domains look like down the line once i have like 50 or so designs i could be like oh okay i'm skewing into this domain a lot what does that mean is there not enough of the other ones? How do I make certain designs read? You know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, there's plenty of ways to go about it, right? So, excellent question. Um, sorry for the long-winded answer, but yeah. That's that's basically my thing. I just I'm gonna shut down an idea if someone says animal plus an element. That's Pokemon's thing, right? And we love them for it. I'm gonna repeat it till I die now with Potempo. My designs are the sum of all their parts. Right? It's like giving you puzzle pieces that don't feel like they fit, but then when you see the final design, you're like, ah, I see it. Maybe I can do a thing where his head is bigger like this. This guy's pretty cute. This is an homage to Rory, my boy Rory.
Oh, I'll do brown there. That's fine. Cool. I like this guy. He's cutie. I don't know what that symbol means. If truly there's like an, a nocturnal owl moon symbol connection, then I'll find it when I'm ready, right? Um, let's see. I love it definitely on the team. Hell yeah. Um, why not make up a tempo that turns into a crab reference? How many crustaceans turn into crabs? Um, possible. Uh, love him. He's a type of creature you saw as a child that protected you with scary bees, like a parental figure. Yeah. Not sure how many of you are thinking per team, but main. Um, I think... I kind of want to keep it simple and probably do six. I think seven's too much and five is too little, I think. Does that sound right to you guys? I gotta figure out colors for sure. Once I like, again, settle on the inspirations, who knows, maybe next time you see this guy, he's going to be like an Arctic owl, you know? Maybe he's the panda owl bear I was talking about, right? Uh, how do you think this guy will function in combat? Balanced or tank? I think he can certainly be balanced. I feel like he's got like a impressive speed despite his size. Otherwise, I would love to have him lean towards being a tank. He definitely feels like a tanky build. Um, be on the team with a wolf. Get your 100%. Most of my dinner sound. Most legends of folktales. Makes sense. The fireball scene reminds me of something from medieval times. Oh boy. One that's a flamingo anime hero based on a Puerto Rican folktale of a flamingo saving a mom from drowning. There you go. Uh, maybe a dark knight blue. Yeah, that's a great color option. Dark knight blue. Raspel Greek mythological creature has a burning furnace for a stomach. It's been turned into a torture device. You will roast a victim inside. You see, there you go. That's the kind of cool shit. And maybe I could even combine that with my Minotaur Mon. I'm going to add that to my list. That's sick as hell. That's the cool shit I want to do, gang. So much so I want to do it tomorrow, but I won't. What is that? How do I, how would I look that up? You're married to your idea that we have to divorce it. Yeah, if it, ha exactly right. If you need to divorce it, if I fall out of love with it, there you go. Brass bull torture device. That's a good way to incorporate fire into the de design, right? Like that to me screams like runic occult. Maybe it's like, this bull sacrifices the souls of whoever catches in its stomach, right? Or traps in its rib cage or something crazy. Uh, I'm just saying, creative process in that regard it just feels that it's like important to answer the question whether runic goes against your design philosophies. Um, no, design philosophies are still so broad early on that it's kind of silly to, you know, uh, just close something off, you know? Um, I'm uh, married to your idea. Middle Siege feels like it needs to be redesigned due to just how Night Towel with a spikier head crest. Um, yeah, I mean, again, this is a first attempt. You know? Do not worry. Nothing. There's still plenty of room and movement. Uh, do not apologize for planning when the king speaks. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When it comes to Monster Chamber 6, it's a magic number. It's weird to describe it. I, I think that's true. The three pairs thing. Like, I feel like... If I gave five, I'd be like, dang, I'd want to give one more just so you can have one more friend with you. And then conversely, seven is a lot. I can see seven potentially only because um, maybe like your trusty partner, toasty equivalent, or if it's the dragon equivalent, um, whatever it is, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, you know what? I guess the seventh wouldn't be one that would have to evolve, so. Um, maybe Toasty can be the transport vehicle? No, the transport vehicle will just be like a hover bike type of thing. When it comes to Monster Tamers, I feel like he's a Berserker. He could be a Berserker. Team number really depends on the game. For mine, it's Action Adventures having three on the team, but it's only two out. It gets super busy. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely, right? 
Torture device miniature. That sounds intense. Epic, but intense. Hell yeah. Bonnie's going to have the feds watching his computer. I'm sorry, Federales. It's for research. It's for research. You know what? Yeah, I think I like the the midnight blue oh, sounds really tight let me go darker maybe even gray yeah look how already that changes the vibe so much i had a feeling it would have to come to this Even the gray, like this midnight gray looks pretty damn sick. I'm going to push my color balance just a little bit. All right, then let me try. The purple kind of goes hard. But I'm not gonna lie, I really do like the blue. You know what, having it connected to the lunar connection with both owls, maybe it's like sky blue. It's a bit monotone, but I'm not against it. And then the blue eyes for the night owl right here looks pretty damn sick too, if I may say so myself. And now ain't nobody who can say anything about Knocked Owl. I love Knocked Owl. Shout out to you, Knocked Owl. You're my friend. And obviously, look, then this bear guy, he, he fits... Like, I think he'll have a fun... He can mostly be, I think, lighter tone. No, maybe you could still be a darker bear cub. No, 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 no. I want him to be bright, actually. It could be a thing where as I continue to draw and design, maybe... You know what? Let's do something like this, maybe. I like this kind of skull motif kind of thing happening with this bear. Kind of gives you that sum things up. All right, for a first pass, not too shabby. It does change the vibe quite a bit. Also, I drew this bear without any reference. That's why he looks like a doofus. But he's cute. He's my baby.
yeah adding things like feathers and stuff which is still like a naturalistic element yeah, i'm still very game What do you guys think? The sum of all of its parts, Potempo. Um, a Berserker had two monsters, where you can only have five monsters at a time, and what does six slot is reserved for your player character? Interesting. In the eye, a light yellow due to blue and yellow are complementary. That's true. Yellow eye could work out very well, too. If the brass bowl could include elements of Talos, the first ancient Roman automaton. I love that. Mast, I need you to come and remind me for that episode whenever I do, whenever I do the Minotaur episode. Um, I've been messing with the design for the April prompt while watching this. Nice. I saw the first pass. It was really cute. Uh, it's not owl. I didn't notice the color green. The bluish green is so sleek. That's what I'm saying, right? Doughboy, hey gang, listen. That I Doughboy is chiming in from Japan. That's another person in our chat who's celebrating their birthday in Japan. Everyone, give a shout out to I Doughboy, our boy Rico. Shout out to you. Much love to you, brother. I hope you have a wonderful time in Japan. Stay safe out there. Uh, love your design. I'm getting like a Final Fantasy mix with Pokemon, which is great. Definitely has its own tone and art direction. Good, good, good. Don't this call a boy a doofus. He's a baby. He is my baby. It's true. The colors give a mischief vibe. Do you realize how interesting the concept of evolution would be for someone playing the game blind? Yeah, exactly. I think it'd be really cool. And don't get me wrong. I still think there is a very, very strong chance that maybe I do lean more into the Pokemon factor, like where maybe I do make it a little more obvious um that maybe something is happening but i like the subtlety like things like and i'll make it look better when it's in another kind of thing uh in its second pass but like adding like more splashes of colors things like that where i can um i have people like wondering how the hell did this bear evolve into an owl but then when they see the end you know it'll be cool um what would it look like in muddy green i guess i don't mind exploring that I, I think maybe yellow would be i do like the yellow idea actually for the eyes rico papi stay safe brother you're gonna have an amazing time like high key i want to go back even though I said I probably don't want to, not that I don't want to go back, but like, ideally I do want to continue traveling the world all over. Who knows, maybe, you know, um, promoting Patempo one day. Um, but yeah. Nothing in this world is worth it without friends and family, gang. Um, oh, you know what? We can give this, that's what I can do. Maybe it's like the crazy eyes. Ooh, this looks cute. It's like kind of creepy. It's almost like you caught him on on like a night cam. Like he's got an eternal night cam on, which would work, right? I kind of like it, gang. He looks so derpy with the 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 white iris bit, or not iris, the highlight. I mean, there you go. That's a fun little connection. Um, the color scheme, I think, is a good signifier. It makes them feel connected, 100%. I think color is a huge point where the connection will be really strong. Because um, you'll be like, oh, it evolved into a bear, but it's not like a Digimon thing where it's like a different color palette. Or, um, I really do want to explore a lot of potential cool adjustments to ideas and concepts as I go. Um, you know, it's absolutely worth it. Um, 
Not sure if you're interested, but maybe you might want different saturation between forms. Yeah, I think so too. I think naturally, if they start cuter and whatnot, that's something I'll figure out for the second pass for sure. Without a doubt, Oni. I know your your mind is on a, uh, another level having been in marketing and developing, so I trust your instincts. Could you imagine what it would look like at night? Like, imagine this guy appearing in the darkness. Ooh, could you imagine? The Tapum Lucidum, the reflective eye memory in cats and dogs that cause that effect. Very nice. I can't tell where the sample animals look like demonic aliens. Exactly. The Indian Valley of most life, friends and family, the one bonds. Hey, that's what Potempo is all about, right? All right. Yeah, naturally, for sure. Tone is a huge thing. He's absolutely right. It could be like a lighter blue and you put some like a blue like that. And then by the time we get here, um, you know, maybe it's like fully, you know, actually, I think a color, a red color for pop, like on the here could be really strong but yeah I'll, I'll figure that stuff out in the second pass for sure maybe it's a red right um it definitely needs one more kind of color it could be honestly like red although i do like the the white claws too Yeah, let's just play around with it just to explore. Ooh, Dracula bird. Ooh, I don't hate that. Ooh, the red mane, like it's bloodied face, along with the red claws kind of go hard. Yeah, I don't mind like playing around with color. It's crazy how much more fantastical they feel because there's more intention. Whereas before it was like I took real world animals and then made them feel real world. Anyway. Um, I like that the potential based on combinations of animals have those animals as their forms before being combined. That was a huge thing, right? Some of all their parts, baby. Let's put it on the, the box. I'm here to be a list of mythical creatures. I'd love to hear that. Do you think you're still in my honey? No, sir. I have night vision. Uh, these guys have the thing where you see them in the dark. After all, you see those glowing eyes. Oh, it's been a while. So what if, What its powerful form? What do you mean? It's been a while. So what its powerful form would be? I think purple could make more of a good third color. That's true, too, for the nighttime kind of thing. Also, it looks like it's a monocle due to one of the eyes being more thickness. Uh, that's probably just because uh, the lines got kind of gunky. Let me do... Yeah, purple could work too as well for like the nighttime thing. And even if it's not Pokemon related, and I, I'm not saying this in a negative way, but quote unquote, the damage that Pokemon has caused, naturally, that's just good design. Because it's not just Pokemon, right? It's anything where colors equate to a typing if i do black and purple people are gonna be like this guy's got to be gothic right and maybe he could be but the owlbear doesn't feel gothic to me so that's why certain colors and hell look to be plays devil's advocate red also feels very gothic like we're getting vampire vibes and monocles and so finding that right eclectic mix of palette will also help my Potempo feel very unique. Uh, green eyes do highlight an idea as to how to connect them. Having one consistent detail that makes them fantastical. One line is glowing eyes, one is exaggerated claws. It could be claws, it could be eyes. I think, you know what? I forgot who, but I recently spoke to someone and I mentioned how eyes were the spirit of the soul. And I feel like that could really be a Potempo link type of thing where the, uh, I know what it's for and you guys will find out very soon, maybe May. Um, and yeah, it really came down to, yeah, you know what? Let me see if I can make a brown kind of work. Maybe like, it could still be cool to have like a nice, yeah, honestly, maybe. Um, 
but yeah the eyes are so important so as long as the eyes live the same like it could be a bear with owl eyes you know and then maybe it doesn't have like the the feathers per se like it'll have to be some sort of balance for sure and i feel like the eyes might be the thing that do the heavy lifting The skull bear thingy, which I think there is a bear that has like a face like this. It kind of looks like a moon. It kind of looks like a full moon. Here's like a crescent moon, and then here's like that full shape. Is it a true through line? Not exactly. It's a little bit of a stretch, but like, let's keep it for now. You know what? It might just need to be sleek like that and let the yellows be the carry. I do like the yellow claws quite a bit too. The red might be a, a little on the nose, like it's bloody claws. This yellow is entirely too bright, but it does make it pop, so. Maybe with the spirit element, there could be like glowy bits that live between the stuff, right? I like the monocle. The monocle is too Pokemon-like, right? To do a specific singular human-like element on a creature. Uh, that's more Pokemon than Potempo. Uh, remember the yokai with the single eye on its butt and nothing on its face? I don't. Tell me about that. Uh, I don't think you can say something did damage to something in a positive way. What if the owlbear had the power of a berserker but the skills of a rogue? Possible. Who? You're gonna love to see epiphanies happening in real time. I think Bake Kujira. Skeleton Ghost Whale of Japan is a good starting idea for possible Potempo. I think I've seen something like that, which is such a cool concept. I already have the god of Potempo being a whale, so I don't know how much I want to do another whale immediately, because we also have the Oculet, which is the orca, aka the killer whale. I'd rather get a shark in before another whale, you know? Now, granted, I think the orca is more in the line of dolphins, but you know what I mean. Um, I mean, still something I could put on the list down the line, you know? Because, hey, multiple regions, potentially, if this ever became successful. Uh, in fact, I'll quickly add that because that does sound super sick because yeah at the end of the day It could just be part of the line. It could be um, The the finale form and some other entities lean into it Big meaty claws uh, By the way, what's the name of the powerful form? Uh, based on the blood moon I'm not against that that could be sick like the blood moon um, but yeah, this this would be the finale form. Don't forget, uh, anytime you guys see three, the last one is always the finale. I'm experimenting that every single Potempo, I had an, I, or I heard an owl. Holy crap, that's so cool, I love owls. Whale Jesus, pretty much. Uh, I mean, Cassette Beast does that too. What does Cassette Beast do exactly? Um, so I'd like to ask what wilted forms look like. Are they different form entirely or with the malicious? I don't know yet, Dingus. I'll have to figure it out. It might be something that I explore the day I do the Manticore. Um, I really want to do the Dune concept tomorrow. Maybe I do the Manticore Wednesday. Um, but that's something I'll figure out, right? Like, if it's worth making wilted or whatever that means, like... Um, again, if that whole direction doesn't work out, nothing lost. Um, but yeah, exploration is always important, so we'll see. We'll, we'll try it out. But gang, I think this is the lineup for today. Again, picture that they have a spirit form in the beginning. Um, another potential thing that could be really cool is... And I was thinking I'd do this more for Henshine... But what if I made every third form a cocoon? And it's like a fiery spirit cocoon. And that could be like a really cool thing where in Pokemon, right? Obviously a ton of bug Pokemon go through cocoons. But I love the idea of cocoons being a spiritual awakening kind of thing. And I develop some sort of chassis as their third form.
I got it. Oh my god, I think I got it. Hold on, there's two ways I could do this. Holy crap, that's cool. Okay, chat, I think I know... I think I know what I want to do for... Either the spirit form or like a potential third form. This is crazy. Holy crap, this is going to be so cool. Yo, Potempo is going to be the next big thing. Okay, so... What if I made either every first form could be like... Think like Darmanitan in its base form. And I do a thing where maybe the first form because they're in the world they're kind of been kind of like not want to say frozen cold but they're like in so this could replace the lantern thing actually I, as much as i love the lantern it's it's a lot of logistic stuff look at like this um i kind of want to do a thing where maybe so for example when they come into the human world, if they're not a, a an orb of fire, they're like a wooden kind of what do you call this? Some sort of like wooden like the bottom of the totem pole. Right? That's one way I can do it. So this the, the baby forms would all look kind of like you see what the the form is going to be. So I think that's already a cuter way and it could have like a nice wooden kind of texture. Hell, if I even wanted to, I think I could do a thing where all of them have different colored glowing. Maybe the color of their domains are represented. And like the top of it could be open so like fire is jutting out like their spirit is being preserved in this wooden block kind of looks like phantom actually but it, it's fine i can make my own and so each of them would look very unique and i would make it so that they look like they've got like these painted markings and it's like this more beautiful simple Cute, and they're like jumping around all over, like blum, 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 just following you. And then maybe like you would use the colors. And then, you know, if you had a shiny one, maybe the, they're, I'll call them like block forms for now. Um, so that could be their first forms. And when they pop out, they start in their first form. Um, and then otherwise, I think this could be really sick. I know I'm seeing tune right here. I'm not a fan of most, but tempo look cocoon like it might make them look similar. I think that's the point. I love that idea, actually. It shows that they all share the same spirit, essentially. But look at this idea Dingus, listen to this. This might be as cool. This is what I was thinking first when I thought of cocoon. So what if instead of maybe I can make it so that they do stay in their say base form, right? Base or no, fuck it. We'll do stage one. No, let me let me rotate because we read left to right. Oh my God, guys, I'm so excited. I think I found yet another unique, cool, important thing that is unique for my world that I'm creating. Okay, ready? So look. That totem looked like Silly Goober. Good. Silly Goober is the name of the game. So it could be one, two, three, and four, aka finale. 
aka the top of the totem pole. So what if I did a thing where every third stage... Yeah, I think now that I'm saying it, I don't love it, but let me let me just work out the idea. So what if it was something like every I really like the idea of a cocoon and then it gives a unique transformation element where maybe like the fire bursts out and maybe they all have like wings. Oh my god, depending on the god Potempo legendary, maybe they all have the same crown when they go into their third form, like the legendary. And then that way it would it would make things easier for me. Because I like to have this consistent thing where It's almost like a coffin, like they're getting reborn, but it's more like a totem pole. And it will always be... Maybe they have like unique stats in here for like defense, letting you charge up mana to develop the energy needed. And then maybe each one could be like... So here it could be like the bear face. Right, and then over here, the owl face. And then maybe over here. Oh my God, this could be so sick. And it's always wings and like maybe the wings of the God Potempo. Same crown that comes on this Totempo, totem pole, excuse me, totem pole. And that energy is like charging up and then it bursts forward in the finale form. That's so unique. And every three, if you have a finale form, your, your third form is always in this cocoon totem pole. Remind me of serve bots? Hell yeah. That's like the animation for boosting. It's like forever. I would say, I feel like if I don't do this concept for the third, um, I would want that to be the animation for two into four. Maybe there's going to be a more generalized totem pole design I can figure out. And it like, maybe the creature, maybe the totem pole like comes from the ground or like these kind of wooden blocks kind of surround the creature. They grow like the orb at the top, the spirit orb is like burning and exploding because the potemp, it's like, you know, kind of like a cocoon where the insides get kind of rearranged and that potential where maybe it was a bear by itself and an owl by itself and then becomes the owl bear. I think that's so sick. I'm not sure which I like better. I do genuinely love every, every line starting as a block. I think that's very cute. And then that would also let every kind of like I like the idea of something in the line that links everything together regardless of what their inspiration is. So it's like that for a split. No, no. Well, if I'm making it that every third form for a like a, a line that has a finale would have like a totem pole form that would act as its third form. Um I don't know how much I love that, but I do like the idea of it being essentially my take on the cocoon for bug Pokemon, whereas cocoons for bugs, I have a totem pole for Potempo. And that's what would like separate them, say, from regular animals, right? Um, I gotta sit on this. I think it's really, really unique. And then what I could do is like, Again, it would make my life easier. It's not like I need to add a fourth form, technically. I'm just doing it because I think people would like it. It could be that maybe in this space, it's like pitch black, like waiting for the face. Or maybe it's like a Potempo symbol. Or maybe it could be filled with like 
Oh, it could be like the mouth of the god Potempo. And we have the music notes kind of thing here. I think that's just so cool. Maybe, or you know what? It could be the sides have exhausts of fire that look like wings as like the energy is building up. There's something crazy about this. Silver from Shaman King and the rest of the tribe? All right, let me see. Normally, I don't always love looking up things on stream, but since I am at the end of stream, Silver Shaman King. Oh yeah, Yo, Yo's brother had like a very indigenous inspired look, right? Oh my god. Anyway, I feel like I had a major breakthrough, gang. So either it's going to be the third form, which would be cool. Looks like the god whale from underneath, exactly what I was trying to go for. Um... Otherwise, I do think this is very cute as well. You know? I want to hear what chat thinks. Should every Potempo, should their first form be a cute block piece? Or it could, or every first form could just be an animal, right? Which I think is also very fine. Um... Or should I make, because you know what, it might have to be, you know what, it might have to be that I design, I think I know it chat, don't even worry about it. I think this concept only exists for finale anyway, because think about it, if you don't have a finale, you'll have this special third form. Whereas... It would be cool to have all the babies have a unique thing. Do all five forms? Hell no, that's too much work. <laughs> too much. I think it'd be cool if I gave everyone their own totem starting point. You know? Um, night, getting tired? All right, have a good night. I think I'm going to call it night as well. Um, so yeah. Okay, cool. I think I found a breakthrough regardless. I'll do a thing where... Okay, I got it. Gang, I'm going to call it a night. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I learned a lot about my own world, little by little, working it out in front of you guys. Thank you so much for your kind words and encouragement um, and watching me uh, drudge along. Great stream tonight, I think. Uh, my bear is looking really, really silly. I think I am going to do this as the base form. And then this will be like a potential symbol for, or like some sort of cool chassis or cocoon for the transformation. So, um, Jeliana being saying, I love seeing the gears turn as you create these concepts. I think the tone pull idea is cool and I trust it. Thank you. That's so kind. Thank you for your kind words. Um... One way or another, nothing is for certain. I'm sure I'll keep figuring it out as I mess around and sort it out. Um, yeah, guys, I think tomorrow's going to be Dune Worm time. I've just loved Doom so much recently. I think it's worth exploring. So I hope you guys look forward to that. I'll love to see you guys. I uh, hope you have a wonderful night. Um, thank you, Oni. Thank you, Draco, Jeliana, Alex, Dengis, Mast. Um, Everyone else I missed, Toon, Vader, there, Justin. Have a beautiful night. I'll see you tomorrow.